What's going on everybody? It's your boy Knight. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make the best perimeter lockdown build. The one all the comp players use in the comp stage. This is the build you use to clamp everyone up. Now, I'm not going to be one of those people that make a 2 minute video into a 10 minute video just to put some ads in it. I'm going to get straight to the point. I'm going to show you guys ASAP how to make this build. So real quick, um, I will be showing you guys how to not make the mistake that I did. I actually made my build wrong. A funny story, I made the wrong build. Then I made the right build, but I upgraded the wrong one and I didn't even realize it till after I spent like 150k on them and got some badges so I was like oh, I'll just stick with it and also obviously not everyone's play style is the same you know everyone's different so a lot of people fail to show the different ways to make the build I'm gonna be showing you guys two different ways to make it these are the only two good ways to make it so the differences it's just small differences one gets more finishing with no playmaking and the other gets more playmaking with no finishing so let me go ahead and show you guys how to make the build Okay guys, making this video as fast as possible, we're just going to speed right through everything, but I'm going to still be clear about everything. Uh, position, point guard, hand, it doesn't matter. I go with left though, jersey number doesn't matter. The pie chart is the very last pie chart, mostly red with a little bit of green. You get gold shooting. You want to choose the first physical profile. Now let me show you guys the way I would make it with the finishing, alright? So first thing for both builds, you want to max out defending. You'll get 24 defending. Then you want to put your shooting to where you get 15 uh, upgrades. Make sure these are filled out. So you want to get 15 upgrades. And then you put the rest towards finishing, which will give you 4 finishing. All right. So as you can see, you get 4 finishing, 15 shooting, 1 playmaking, 24 defensive. All right. This is the way you make it with the finishing. Now, let me show you guys how to make it with the uh, playmaking. And you, you actually also get more shooting. So what you do is you put this to 17. So you get 17 shooting. Then you put it max the first two out for seven playmaking and then you put the rest on your driving dunk all right so to each their own if you want more finishing go with the finishing way if you want more playmaking go with the playmaking way both are really great um i'm gonna just go ahead and do the finishing way the reason why i did why i made it with finishing is just because i wanted to test out to see if i could get any contact dunks with contact finisher on gold so you want to do that um, body shape, you know, it doesn't matter. I, I think I went with Burley or Built, one of them. I'm not sure. Um, you have to go 6'5", and I know most people's instinct is minimum weight. I just want to show you guys something real quick. When you go to 177, right, as you can see, you got uh, at the interior defense is a minus 5, and the strength is a 44. So if you go just one more pound up, it's a minus 4 for the interior instead of minus 5, and the strength goes from 44 to 45. I know it's just 1, and I know that's like a small, you know, difference, but, you know, this is it's all the small things that add up. I don't know. It's free, so you might as well try it. Wingspan on a lockdown is always the max wingspan, all right? This is how you clamp people up. And then, obviously, for your takeover, you choose slashing takeover. No, I'm just playing go with lockdown defender takeover, all right? You want to, you're a lockdown. Your job is to lock people up, and then, you know, once you choose that, it'll say you made a perimeter lockdown. Okay, guys, before the video is over, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my badges that I use. So with the finishing, for now, I'm just using Showtime because I don't got Max yet, but uh, I will put it on Contact Finisher. If I can't get Contact Dunks, then I'm going to just use Showtime Gold and then Contact Finisher Bronze. Basically, why I do that is because uh, this build does get the Park Dunks, and I feel like those can activate with people in the paint even if you have Contact Finisher without Contact Dunks. The Park Dunks can activate. Shooting, I messed up and went with 14 by accident, you know, but the gist is you get hot zone gold, range gold, corner gold, uh, clutch shooter gold, catch and shoot gold. And then, you know, I went with the one playmaking. I put it on downhill, so if I get a steal or a block, I can run down and get a dunk. Downhill makes your player really fast. So if you choose the playmaking uh, build, do the gold downhill, gold quick first step, and then the one bronze badge, I just do uh, bailout. Defending, all right. Um, I play comp stage a lot, and there's no switching with, um, you know, getting the drop and all that stuff, so I don't use rim protector or chase down anymore. So, um, real quick, let me just show you guys something. These are the three badges you have to have to clamp people up. Clamps, Intimidator, Pick Dodger, and then uh, Tireless Defender. I use it on Hall of Fame. What a lot of people do is that they, um, if they have two bars of Gatorade, they feel like that's enough stamina, so they don't need Tireless Defender. I look at it, I look at it as if I have the two bars of Gatorade, and I have the badge, I'll never run out of stamina on defense, you know, it's just toxic, but I like clamping people up, so that's what I use, I put on pickpocket, so when I'm bumping them, and they get tired, I could rip them, and then, you know, interceptor, if you're playing park, and you want to get some blocks too, against some casuals, what you could do is lower interceptor to silver, put down pickpocket to gold, and then put on rim protector, 
And you can even just put Tyler's Defender to gold and then put that on Hall of Fame if you really want to block people in the paint. But since I play comp stage, this is what I use. Now let me go ahead and show you guys my uh, SIGs. Alright, so jump shot, I'll leave a link to my jump shot in the description below. Layups, I my player doesn't do layups, but these are the dunks that I'm using, and I get a dunk all the time, even standing dunks, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, the park dunks, these are the park dunks that I am using. Alright, and then for my jump shot celebration, I like lost shot. I feel like it helps my jump shot timing, you know, off the catch and shoot and stuff, and from shooting, you know, limitless. So, uh, I believe that's everything. Um, if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. Leave a like on the video for me. It helps me a lot. It's your boy, Knight. I'm out.